People ask me all the time, how do I take an enema? I want to speak to what the goals of the enema are, which will then bring forth how to do it. So you want to clear up the entire colon from the rectal area and the sigmoid colon all the way up through the transverse and the ascending. The entire colon, you want that cleared out, not just the lower colon, okay? Then also you want to improve the level of healthy bacteria and decrease the levels of unhealthy bacteria. Those unhealthy bacteria I mean like they, they, they change your appetite and make you crave things that you don't want to eat and they um, can cause leaky gut and all sorts of troubles. So you really want to just continually throughout your entire life be working on the levels of healthy versus unhealthy microorganisms in your colon. You also want to keep your electrolytes in your colon very balanced and you want to improve the detoxification capacities of your body. So those are the goals of the enema. And so you do that by taking three enemas in the series. Enema number one. The first enema in the series is just a filtered water with some kind of stimulant. And the stimulant that we recommend is a made for enema goat milk soap. For the guys, we recommend the frankincense and myrrh goat milk soap because it adds to the colon cleanse therapy by acting on the prostate in a healthy way. Um, we also have a chamomile and um, clary sage. So the first one is just about clearing out the colon and doing that in the most effective way possible. The second one in the series is you're also going to be clearing out the colon, but you're increasing the level of therapy. You're going to add an essential oil. The one that we like to work with the best is called Purification. It's a blend of um, melaleuca and lemongrass and rosemary um, and a few other oils and we use that to both increase the levels of healthy bacteria and decrease the unhealthy levels. We also use a sea salt to help balance out the electrolytes. So mix those two together so that the oil doesn't sit on top of the enema bag. Enema number three. And the third enema in the series you want to use a coffee blend, ideally a made-for coffee blend for the enema so that the coffee is very high in palmitates and caffeine. So three enemas, the first one uh, made for enema soap and filtered water, second enema the, uh, an essential oil blend like purification and a high quality sea salt, third enema in the series a coffee implant where you actually hold the coffee for 10 to 12 minutes at the end. Okay, So one, two, three, a three enema series to meet all of those goals. So you take these enemas right in a row. You block out about an hour. When you're more confident at it, it's gonna take you less time. The first couple times it might take you a little more time. And you do one enema after the other. You could do this every day, or you could do this once a week, you could do this once a month. It depends on your health goals, what your lifestyle is at the time. If you wanna know how often you personally need to take an enema, you can call us anytime at the Optimal Health Network. You can get some consults using a hair analysis. The hair is a great tool to determine how often you might want to cleanse. Also, a stool analysis can help you decide how often you want to do colon cleansing by examining the levels of healthy and unhealthy bacteria as well as the state of your gut immunity. We can guide you to the best frequency for you.